Thank you very much, Julie. I'm delighted to welcome you to the next session that we're going to explore the South Central Institute of Technology. Within this session, we've got a range of partners who are going to be sharing more about their experiences supporting all aspects of design, development and delivery of the South Central Institute of Technology. I'm delighted to welcome a range of guests who are supporting me in this session. I'm going to invite each of them to introduce themselves in turn. So firstly, with me in the studio, I'll, I'll hand over to Elizabeth. Yes, good afternoon. Thank you, Alex. Uh, Elizabeth Sheldon, I'm Executive Director of uh, CCL Solution Group Evidence Talks, and I have the honour of chairing the Anchor Partner Group. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Elizabeth. And handing over to you, Derek. Hello, everyone. I'm uh, Derek McCourt. I'm the General Manager for Customer Success for Microsoft in the UK. A uh, member of our board and sponsor for this project on behalf of Microsoft. Thank you very much, Derek. And last but by no means least, Anita. Hi, thanks, Alex. This is Anita Nadkarni. I am the technology strategy leader at PwC. Fantastic. Thank you very much, uh, Anita. And interestingly, Anita, in her role, started uh, and signed up as a, an anchor partner working with another uh, member of our partnership network, Tech Mahindra, prior to moving into her current role and is continuing to support the development of the Institute of Technology. So my first question um, really to, uh, to, to the panellists is about why the IoT? Um, what does it mean for you and in sp uh, specifically your organisations? Derek, over to you. So why, why the South Central Institute of Technology and, and why for Microsoft? Yeah, I mean, first of all, we have a massive skills gap in the world of digital mm -hmm. uh, in the UK. We've been engaging with uh, the South Central IoT for, for quite a while now, bringing this project uh, to life. And we're just excited about reigniting further education uh, in the UK uh, and having a new cohort of talented people coming into our industry uh, to bolster that digital skills needs and the gap that we have. Fantastic. I love that about re reigniting because one of our values is to, to or sorry, our purpose is to inspire digital futures. Um, and, Secondly, over to Anita. I, I believe um, digital skill is, is such a huge demand. Yeah. Um, I mean, it will be an understatement to say it's it's uh, it's futuristic. It's right away we are seeing lots of gaps um, and, and all aspects of technology. Um, but more importantly, I felt that having a hands-on experience or mm. preparing students to deliver live projects um, that's an incredibly important aspect of it, uh, because the time that is spent on onboarding uh, some of the students, it's pretty huge. That's an, that's a huge investment for many of many people in the industry, and it will be a great idea to have an institute like this, training people, training students on live things, some, and kind of preparing them for nearly ready to to deliver live projects. I believe that's. That's one of the important aspects of, of this uh, institute that kept me going even when I changed um, organizations. Fantastic. Thank you so much. And I really like the idea that actually an individual's onboarding to an organization starts from that point of first learning and carries all the way through. One of our ambitions is to, to model the world of work and having the support of anchor partners enables us to, to achieve that. Um, Elizabeth, finally over to you. Well, having the ability to influence the curriculum so we are delivering exactly the kind of skills and knowledge that students require when they go forth into the world of work is immensely important. And being able to then perhaps take those students as apprentices into our own organisations means we are developing our own workforce. And I think this is immensely powerful and absolutely required in the climate that we have where digital skills is growing the need for it and it's certainly not going to get any smaller in fact the new defense and security industrial strategy released uh, six weeks ago or so had a high 